The Ottawa mayor announced a state of emergency on Sunday to respond to an extraordinary mass demonstration by truckers over COVID-19 regulations that has shuttered Ottawa Centre for over a week. Known as Freedom Convoy, hundreds of truckers have blocked major roadways, blowing their horns and impeding traffic. However, the demonstration has received criticism for reported harassment as well as a display of Confederate flags and banners with swastikas. Welcome back to Next News Hour. If you're new to the channel, tap on the subscription button and press the notification bell. Since the demonstration originated in objection to vaccine mandates for trucks transiting the US-Canada border, it rapidly became a unifying force for resistance to Prime Minister Justice Trudeau's administration and the coronavirus restriction it has forced. It has also gained support from Republicans in the United States. In a statement issued on Sunday, Ottawa Mayor Jim Watson stated that the rally presented a major risk to the safety and security of the citizens. He stated that the city needs assistance from other authorities and layers of government in order to adapt. He did not elaborate on the metrics it might enforce under its emergency declaration. On Monday, Jagmeet Singh, the head of the New Democratic Party, a third-place fraction that is still important for passing law, asked for an urgent session of parliament. Since the start of the surge and contain plan on Friday, Ottawa police have detained 20 people, according to Ottawa police chief. And also, according to police, more than 100 Highway Traffic Act and other regional offense notices had also been given. Authorities are withholding gasoline in attempt to deter trucks that block municipal junctions. It is estimated that 3,000 vehicles and 10 to 15,000 demonstrators took part in last weekend's rally. According to Ottawa Police Chief, there were around 1,000 trucks and 5,000 demonstrators during the most recent weekend event. Leaders of the Freedom Convoy have stated that they will not exit Ottawa until Canada's vaccination restrictions are lifted. Meantime, Canadian authorities have stated that they too will not back down. Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau has also slammed the events erupting in Ottawa's downtown centre, calling the protesters a small fringe minority of the community. Although many Canadians have opposed the movement, it has earned significant popularity both within and outside of the country, with our President Donald Trump praising demonstrators at a gathering last month. On Friday, Trump joined in again on the demonstration, this time directing his wrath at Trudeau. He called the Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau a far-left lunatic and claimed that he backed attempts to send the Freedom Convoy to Washington, D.C. Well, we'd like to know your thoughts and responses. Share them in the comments down below and also share this news and show us support through subscribing to our channel. Stay tuned for the real stuff on Next News Hour.